Bea and today we are back with another CDU Med Guide and instead of medicine we will be talking about med tech. A lot of people actually have been asking me about like what is the process of applying for CDU Med Tech and fortunately and thankfully my cousin is here to share with you guys the experience of being a first year med tech student at Cebu Doctors University. So if you guys are interested in this video don't forget to like, subscribe, share this with your friends and let us start the video. Hey guys, what's up? This is Bea. Today we are here with my cousin Stephanie Marie Loreno. Yes! <laughs> she is an upcoming second year med tech student. She is currently a first year. You actually just finished first yes. year med tech at CDU CAMS. CAMS yes. department. I'm a CAMSer. College, college of Allied Medical Sciences. So a lot of people have been asking me actually in the comment section of my CDU med guide about med tech, nursing, and whatnot. And since I have a cousin here who is a med tech student and of course was able to experience the online life, so we are going to be asking her. So Stephanie, like, introduce yourself. Who are you? Okay, ako po si Charot. Hi guys, I'm Stephanie Nazareno from Bohol, Philippines! Yeah! Um, yes, and then I enrolled in Cebu Doctors University for first year med tech and I will continue to <laughs> ganon. Okay, why did you choose CDU as your school for college? Actually, no, before, since before, my bro both my brothers studied in CDU and my cousin, so like, it's always been one of the schools na, oh, sige, CDU will always be part of my list for colleges. Okay. So, CDU was actually my number one school, although there were other schools in the mix, like mga schools in Manila, like UST, and everything like that. But then I decided to choose CDU because, oh my god, I want to be part of the CDU community. <laughs> and then, no, actually, because I'm very um, close with my family. And since Cebu is closer to Bohol, I figured na I want to study in Cebu so that I'm closer to my brothers, my cousins, my parents. So, diba? I'm like, malapitong sa lahat. So, that's why one of the reasons I chose CDU. Also, is because. Um, wala, I've always had a special place in my heart for CDU. Like, I, I, wala lang, dream ko lang. It's my dream to, ano, CDU. Yeah. CDU actually is one of the top med tech schools in Cebu. CDU med tech actually had 100% passing rate for 9 consecutive years and one of the top med tech schools in Cebu. So, maybe that is also why. That's also one of the reasons because you visited Bohol before I started applying to colleges and she told me about um, the um, consecutive year, um, what's that, standing of CDU yeah. in MedTech. It's very impressive. So, shout out to CAMS. It's very impressive. So, how much is the tuition at CDU for, how about you, for first year? How much was your tuition? <laughs> how, much, how much was your tuition? <laughs> Um, okay, I don't know exactly, but rough estimate is, diba when you enroll, the enrollment fee is 15k, and so the first sem I remember was around 15k plus there was a 29k for the whole for midterms. Yeah, for mid no, I think midterm finals is 29. Oh, okay. So 15k. So you pay down 15 payment for down, and then you pay another like 20. 29 for. So like in total, how much really is it? Like 40k. Around 40. Like per percent, 40, right? Percent, yeah. And then the sec the next, I uh, know, it's around. Yeah, I think it's the same. Around. Yeah, I think 44. 44. Okay. Yeah. So it's you can say like rough estimate. The tuition is around 40 to 50 or 40 to 45 k yeah. per step. So what was like the online? enrollment process because you weren't able to go to Cebu. So yeah. how did you handle that? Actually I was kind of in the in between because um when I applied to CDU it was still the pandemic was not really happening yet. Okay. It was like you, you applied early. Yeah I applied around January and then we got um, our schedule to take the entrance exam around Feb. So we still went to Cebu um, during Feb of 2020 and we took the exam and then 
it's a two part, ano di ba? I think it's a two part. Exactly. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like you have the first is the written, the written, and then the second one is an interview. So we finished the written, and I think a week after or a few weeks after, we got our um na pumasa ganer. Yeah, you we got, got the, the email. Or yeah, something. we got our results, results and we passed. So we were supposed to move on to the interview portion of the gunner admission to CDU. But then um, we but then the day that we were going to go to Cebu for our in, for our interview, it so happened that Bohol, which is where I'm from, went on lockdown. Oh, yeah, yeah, that was the so, pandemic. Yeah, and so that's where it all started na it was a big shift from like face to face to parang I was in I was in between I wasn't part of the people who didn't have to take the exam, but I was also part of the few people who took the first part and wasn't able to take the second the interview. Part. Yeah, so the admission was um it was kind of weird because I took the test and then um all the processing of like the papers and everything happened a few months after. So mm. in between. Um, when I took the test and when we started class, there was like a big gap. gap of like I didn't do anything, and then suddenly there's like all the papers that you have to file and um, you know compile to. Ano. And then I got in. Oh my god, I'm part of this. <laughs> okay, so the next question is, how is your online CDU medtech experience? <sighs> <laughs> um. I think I feel like I speak for everyone na who's part of the online mga batang online class. Yeah, when I say online class it's, for college. It's very weird. <laughs> like like first of all it's weird because the as I, uh, as I mentioned the shift was very big from you know face to face as big lang okay all all your classmates all your teachers that you haven't met yet you meet online which is I think it's weird for me because I'm usually I usually like to you know, make friends like personally. Yeah, yeah. Like you really and get to know there. them. Yeah. I'm very like an outgoing person. So that was a very weird shift or like a very weird yeah. Like transition that I had to make also for myself. So I think the first SEM was very was very I know let's say depressing. <laughs> I was hashtag depressed. No, the first SEM was very like it was so it was part of, like a roller coaster of emotions now. I was excited because obviously I've been waiting. I I always talk about this with my cousins or my friends now. Oi, next year maka college now. Yeah, we're going to go out. Yeah, like, we're going to eat. Yeah, and the fact that I wanted out. to go to Cebu yeah. where all my cousins or like most of my cousins and um, my brothers are. So I was very like it was already like parang naka set na siya in my mind na I will go out with my friends every weekend, ganer. Like so, like you know the typical first year experience, sana. But then, the pandemic and so, bottom line, the online class for me was like it still is. We're still doing online now. Pero the fir- it was really rough the first time because um, aside from the fact that you also have to adjust, kasi di ba from I my high school was quite. Um, Actually, no, not quite. Very different from university. And it was like my old school was um, a bit smaller. She came from um, Holy a Catholic, Spirit. yeah, a Catholic uh, private school. school in Hall, yeah. So it's um, it was very different because obviously CDU is such a big university, and then like I'm not used to having like sections from eight through. I know, because how many sections school, are you guys? No. I think we're from A to G, G or F. Maybe A to F, so like six. So six. I think, I think. Okay. So that's a total population of like three hundred. Yeah, I guess. And then that's something I'm not used to. So like, um, the first sem was weird because imagine like having to make new friends. Obviously, because it's it's also hard if you don't have any friends na who will get you through the online class. Which is I'm lucky because I actually have two of my close friends from my old school. Now it so happened that we became classmates, and throughout their shuffling, we're still classmates. Oh, okay. It's amazing, and yeah, I think that's one of the most important things that you have people that you can, you know, vent to because that's what, um, I, as far as I've heard, because every time I talk with my classmates or my friends about like how's online school or like, like what what is the experience with online class, um, it's always 
there's always a word that's as associated with it. Na it's difficult, but then when you have like people, like you know, because it's important that you also have people who will push you, motivate you, aside from your family, because but that's also because <laughs> we 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 need people who understand the struggle. <laughs> that's why. Pero yeah, I think it's I've I think I've learned to, and then, um, adapt. Throughout the second sem, that's why we're blooming today, sis. <laughs> and of course, uh, we have flexible learning. Yeah, co co coming soon. Yeah, hopefully, because yeah. Also, the the other thing na kind of bumped me out because the I'm in med tech. Um, I've always imagined that you know when you extract yeah, the class, extract blood. Or, like, in chemistry, our topics were. Um, for the lab, like you ma titration, so like you mix mix my color color na lalabas gan. So like you didn't, I didn't get to experience. That. Yeah, that so like we online. experienced it through like watching the demos, but it's obviously it's different talaga if you do it by yourself. So I think we missed out on like the first ano. But I guess, wala, you can't do anything. Alam mo naman, di ba? Yeah. Uh, how's the system? How's the teachers? How are the professors? Would you? Um. <laughs> so far, our teachers are actually very nice. They're actually um, a very considerate, naman. Like you know, they understand the struggle na online class is different, and I actually um, have a lot of respect for them because you know some of the older teachers that we have na parang hindi masadong techy. Um, they really like do their best. Like I have this one teacher na she is. Well, she's one of those na hindi siya masyadong techy, but then she has like a person who will go back, like who will check the ano. Mm. So they actually like group effort. Yeah, so it's I I'm like I have a lot of respect for them because it's also not easy for their part. Yeah. Because like you also have to prepare a lot of things and all, and it's also different. It's if it's different for us, then it's the same for them. So like they're they're actually mutual respect between students. Yeah, between, um, yeah. Students and like. It's it's not easy on everyone. There's like there's no easy way. Like we can't really blame anyone. It's not the teacher's fault. It's not our fault. Bro. It's just the you just really have to like adapt. Yeah. So like I have a lot of respect and they're they're really nice. They're they understand na they also understand naman that you shouldn't like you know, they set deadlines like that aren't too close to each other. Like yung mga deadlines namin for example, if you give like an assignment today, usually the deadline is next week. Okay, that's that's, that's like they give a lot of time. So at least they they are like considered. Yeah. As so well we also as have as to, as you know, as like as students, we should also like manage our time. Yeah. <laughs> so like, well, that's my wisdom. I'm a wisdomers. So what are the subjects right now that you are taking? Um. Uh, okay, I'll try to remember everything. Um. Actually, I feel like. Diba, I think if it's first year, it's more on like mga the general subjects that you take. So we took like percom, like purpose of communication. We took um, ano ba ba? Um, STS, which is a science, technology, and society. Mm -hmm. UTS, understanding the self, which that's actually one of the subjects that I really like. Cause it, like amidst all the kagulohan in life, kagul like the hey, all the something. chaos, like, my, yeah. I have something to. Event, like you know, reflect on my end. Also, we have ethics. I think I'm not sure if that's a minor, but we have ethics. Um, and then one of the uh, some of the more you know, major major, 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 major is subjects. That you have. PMLS. It's principles of medical laboratory science. So that's the um, subject that deals with mga phlebotomy and everything. Yeah. So like it's it's a very very long stretch. So first sem, second sem, we took that. We still have that course, um, and then chemistry, obviously, okay. um, that's the um, very major, major yeah. subject in, in med tech. So we took chem um, first sem chem was um, inorganic chem, like a general course on chemistry, and then for second sem we took anal chem, analytical. Took, yeah, analytical chem, which is <laughs> okay, let me learn. It's okay. Um, you also have summer class right now, right? Yeah, so, um, I'm not, yeah, on, in our, like, calendar, our summer class will consist of three subjects, namely, biochem, pharmacology, and cytogenetics. Iiyak na ba tayo dito? No, um, yeah, PMLS, so, yeah, it deals with, like, phlebotomy and everything. I think that's the subject na we're supposed to, natawak <laughs> 
<laughs> That's the subject na we're supposed to extract blood and everything. So, we were taught how to do ETS, syringe method, ganun. But, yeah, unfortunately, hindi namin nagawa. Um, although, we like, um, our we had a project na we practiced on a teddy bear. Okay. So, at least, <laughs> yes, at least my, my teddy bear, it's better than nothing. So yeah, those are the major, major subjects. And then we're looking forward to summer. <laughs> anyway, <laughs> thank you, Steffi, for being here for this very quick segment, CDU MedTech Guide, is it? So um, hopefully next time we'll talk more about like, ano ba yung gusto yung questions? Leave it down below about CDU MedTech. So this is just a brief overview. Yeah, um, if you want to be a med tech like us. Yeah, if you want to be a med tech student at Cebu Doctors University, go ahead and apply. Um, yeah, actually, maybe I should talk about PT next time. I'm a physical oh. therapist, actually, also. I took it in Cebu Doctors University. Yeah. We're the CD. We're the CD. CDU Nation. Yeah, CDU yeah. Nation is. <laughs> anyway, thank you guys for watching this video. Don't forget to like, subscribe, share this with your friends. And we'll catch you guys on the next one. Bye! Magisan lang po ako dito. Wala na po si Tony Tox. Subjects that deal with everything. Medtech is um PMLS. Ano ba? You wanna join the 